Welcome to Flowers and Colors, the secrets to creating moods through one of nature's greatest gifts. My name is Heidi Richards, owner of Eden Florist, and I'm delighted to share a journey through floral history, myth, and symbolism with you. Flowers have played an important ceremonial role through the ages in rituals and religions of many nations. On rolls from Assyria and on Egyptian temples, plants such as the date palm and flowers such as the lotus are depicted. In Aztec cultures, flower gardens were not only made to please the eyes of the people, artists, and gods, they also contained many images and phases from the history of the beginning of the cosmos. The golden flower growing out of a skull in Taoism symbolizes the highest mystical enlightening. Deflowering itself is the return to the center. In Hindu ritual, the pushpa, or flower, resembles the element ether. In Hinduism as well as in Buddhism, the lotus flower is a very important symbol. In the ancient world and also later in the Christian faith, flowers symbolize the springtime. The Latin word flows and the Greek word anthos, meaning both flowering and inflorescence, flowers were abundantly diverted over floors and used in wreaths and garlands. It was customary to throw flowers and leaves to a winner of a contest. The Celts and Old Germans thought that flowers had a soul. Flowers were used to decorate temples, altars, pillars, gods, heroes, priests, sacrifices, and victims. The Celts considered flowers portents of weather and predictors of gender and childbirth. The Romans dedicated the third year of their month, May, to the flower goddess, Maya. Many Hebrew sarcophagi have decorations of flowers or contain mummified flowers. In the biblical symbolism, flowers play important roles. They symbolize the mortality of all earthly things and the shortness of the human existence on earth. Flowers have a rich history in many cultures and civilizations. Flowers were popularly painted in classic periods, such as the Baroque, Renaissance, Gothic, and Neoclassic. There were many Impressionist paintings, for example, with flowers as the main subject. Some famous paintings include Van Gogh's sunflowers, Monet's Impressionist gardens, and the works of Georgia O'Keeffe, including her oriental poppies and yellow calla lily paintings. In addition to art, flowers have been made famous in literature by the likes of Hans Christian Andersen, William Shakespeare, Ralph Waldo Emerson, Alfred Lord Tennyson, and Emily Dickinson. Here's a question for you. Which flower can be found in more songs than any other? If you guessed the rose, you guessed correctly. Speaking of songs, in addition to the song, The Rose, there's the Yellow Rose of Texas, Red Roses for a Blue Lady, I Never Promised You a Rose Garden, Paper Roses, Days of Wine and Roses, among others. And then there's song titles like Flowers in the Dirt, where have all the flowers gone? You don't bring me flowers, waltz of the flowers, tiptoe through the tubes, to name just a few. Many modern cultures consider flowers attractive, and scholars have been fascinated with flowers for thousands of years. Throughout history, flowers and their colors have been used to convey sadness, happiness, friendship, love, and even dislike. The silent language of flowers was made popular by women during the reign of Queen Victoria and included color as well as quantity, the type of flower, the placement of the flower, and how the flowers were arranged. The gesture of giving flowers was the preferred means of expressing one's feelings and emotions. The unique and wonderful thing about the language of flowers is that it can help those who find it difficult to express how they feel in words. Flowers also have the unique ability to light up any room in which they appear, whether in a house or in an office. And just like pictures, flowers can tell a thousand words. If you've ever received or sent flowers to someone, you know exactly the emotions that flowers can evoke. 
it's no wonder we are drawn to them. Which brings me to the subject of this presentation, colors and flowers, their meanings and the emotions they represent. According to Leatrice Eisman, international color expert, our response to color is intensely emotional and flowers can be a catalyst for feelings that stimulate more than just our sense of sight and smell. Color can also help us find the balance we seek for our surroundings and flowers are an ideal way to harness the power of color to enrich our lives. Flowers and colors are synonymous. We use color to express our own style and individuality. There is no other product that conveys so much feeling based upon its color alone. They are sexy, intriguing, and universal, and perfect for any occasion. Flowers come in an infinite range of colors. The colors each flower represents sometimes has different meaning, but generally speaking, the color will signify similar meanings from flower to flower. The underlying meanings are steeped in tradition in many predate biblical times. One example is the rose. While roses signify passion and deep love, yellow roses today mean joy and honor and friendship. Red is most commonly associated with love and passion. A red flower can be a symbol of desire, lust, devotion, and beauty. The color red is also often related to heat, fire, and strength. Red roses are classic, and when given in various numbers can mean anything from I love you to will you marry me. Red flowers have played their part in historical events. Among them, the red carnation. One such event took place in 1974 as army officers caused the downfall of a 50-year-old dictatorship in Portugal. The dictator was Salazar. Things were not easy, especially for the lower classes. That culminated in a war. Many lives were lost and the war raged on. So a revolution was planned by military people. The plan to abolish the dictatorship, to begin a democracy, and of course end the war. On the morning of April 25, 1974, the signal that the revolution was about to begin was sent via a special song that played on the national radio. Troops began marching to Lisbon. The revolution was highly unusual in that revolutionaries did not use direct violence to achieve their goals. The population holding red carnations convinced the regime soldiers not to resist. The soldiers readily swapped their bullets for flowers. It was the end of the Estado Novo, the longest authoritarian regime in Western Europe. Other flowers include roses, anthuriums, tulips, gerbera, and dahlias. And then there's pink. Pink is feminine, fun, and playful. Pink flowers are a sweet reminder of our childhood. The pink flower can express admiration or a teasing interest, gratitude, grace, happiness, and youth. It is often a more modest gesture than that of a striking red flower, offering an allure of mystery to the recipient as to the intentions of the giving party. Some pink flowers include peonies, hydrangeas, stargazers, ranunculus, roses, tulips, freesia, camellias, and of course, roses. Speaking of roses, one of the oldest flowers known to mankind and perhaps the most popular, the rose, as mentioned before, represents love, magic, hope, and the mystery of life. Nebuchadnezzar used roses to adorn his palace. In Persia, they were grown for the perfume oil, and the petals filled the sultan's mattress. In Kashmir, the emperors cultivated elaborate rose gardens, and the roses were strewn in the river to welcome them home. From an image of pagan love, the rose was transformed into an emblem of Christian spiritual love connected with the Virgin Mary, with Christ's blood, and the crown of thorns. According to Greek mythology, the rose was created by Chloris, the Greek goddess of flowers, out of the lifeless body of a nymph found one day in the clearing in the woods. Asking for Aphrodite's help, she gave the nymph beauty and Dionysus gave her a sweet scent, and the three graces gave her joy, charm, and brightness. Zephyr, 
The west wind blew the clouds away so that Apollo could shine upon her and make the flower bloom. Thus the rose was born and crowned the queen of all flowers. The next color on our flower palette is blue. Blue is the color of tranquility, trust, and infinite possibility. Flowers and shades of blue release the spirit and often induce feelings of comfort. Blue flowers symbolize the clarity found in our dreams, thoughts, and imaginations. The blue flower give a sense of calm, dignity, and serenity. Deep blue oceans, cool, calm lakes, and pale blue skies. You can find the color blue in flowers like the bachelor's button, iris, agapanthus, allium, delphinium, hydrangea, larkspur, and forget-me-nots. One of my favorite colors is purple. Purple flowers symbolize royalty, individuality, sophistication, creativity, and meditation. Purple flowers are energizing and spiritual at the same time. When we see the color purple, our eyes open wider. A natural reaction that opens our spiritual senses and reminds us that we are all connected to an infinitely divine system. Some flowers that come in purple and violets include hyacinth, lavender, snapdragons, lithnia, lincianthus, sweet peas, gladiolus, impatience, lilacs, orchids, and tulips. Speaking of tulips, did you know that the tulip which is the Turkish word for turban, was originally a wildflower growing in Central Asia. It was first cultivated by the Turks as early as 1000 AD. The flower was introduced in Western Europe and the Netherlands in the 17th century by Viennese biologist Carolus Clotius. In addition to his medicinal use, the flower was being used as a garden decoration. It soon gained major popularity as a trading product, especially in Holland. In fact, interest in the flower was huge, and bulbs were being sold for unbelievable high prices. Hybrids and mutations of the flower were seen as rarities and a sign of high status. In the months of the late 1636 to early 1637, there was a complete tulip mania in the Netherlands. Some varieties could cost more than an Amsterdam house at the time. You can see fields of tulips in Istanbul even today. Ah, uh, green. Green surrounds us in nature, typically a background color. Green was combined together in varying shades and can give us the feelings of harmony, balance, and positive energy. If you've ever been cooped up during a long, cool, dreary winter, you know the feeling you get at that first glimmer of green in spring. Green flowers represent renewal, growth, hope, health, and youth. Green is also the color of the heart chakra, and so it takes on the meaning of good health. Bright green is the color of Mother Nature on top of the world. Green has a great healing power. It is the most restful color for the human eye. Green as opposed to red means safety. It is the color of free passage in road traffic. Some green flowers include orchids, button mums, roses, and bells of Ireland. One color that screams excitement is orange. Orange represents enthusiasm, vivacity, intrigue, health, and happiness. Orange is the closest match to the sun, so it is symbolic of expansion, growth, and warmth. It is also the color of friendship and community. Bright orange reminds me of warm summer days, barbecues, and playing outdoors. An orange flower makes a bold statement of color and vitality. Orange flowers can include roses, poppies, orchids, birds of paradise, protea, ranunculus, tulips, and marigolds. The marigold has been associated with the sun's journey across the sky from 9 o'clock in the morning until 3 o'clock in the afternoon. The Victorians believed they could set their clocks by the hour that this vibrant flower opened and closed its colorful petals. Marigolds bloom year-round, and the name marigold is said to mean Mary's gold after the Virgin Mary. The marigold has been said to signify grief because the flower mourns the departure of the sun when its petals are forced to close. Marigolds add a blaze of brightness to our gardens and to our lives as they search for the fiery brilliance of the sun. 
following orange is yellow. Yellow is associated with gold and it is considered a symbol of nobility, clarity, purity, truth, and intellect. Mayans perceive the color yellow to be associated with corn, symbolizing sustenance and all things that are wholesome. Scientific studies indicate writing on yellow tablets increase memory retention, which ties the meaning of flower color and yellow to intelligence and reason. A room full of bright yellow fla flowers can help anyone for a big test or writing an important paper. Yellow flowers simply make people smile. It is the color of friendship, joy, and lightheartedness. New beginnings like the start of spring are associated with the beauty of yellow flowers. Warm and bright, this color also is the perfect way to add brilliance to any bouquet, space, or experience. Some yellow flowers include daffodils, sunflowers, lilies, daisies, golden hours, asters, and chrysanthemums. White flowers symbolize innocence and elegance and new beginnings. White flowers are classy, unique, and often celebrate a successful beginning. It is no wonder white flowers are a popular choice among brides. Some white flowers include Casablanca lilies, tulips, gardenias, daisies, dahlias, magnolias, calla lilies, narcissus, peonies, and orchids. Speaking of orchids, in the book Dream of Orchids by Phyllis Whitney, the heroine Laurel York has dreamed of a reunion with her father, the famous writer Clifton York, for years. And when she follows him down to the exotic Florida Keys, both love and evil meet her in the form of handsome Marcus O'Neill, who welcomes her, but her two suspicious sisters do not. Then there is Clifton York himself, the strange man they all love, and the secret buried treasure that has lain undetected for years. Only the prize orchids waiting in the greenhouse hold the key to a life that Laurel has only dreamed about, or a nightmare that can only end in murder. The last color on our palette is black. Black flowers have attracted our attention for centuries. Black tulips and black roses appear to originate from a fairy tale world. A pure black flower is the holy grail of plant breeders worldwide. Their improbable and unnatural color inspires powerful feelings of mystical expectation. Black flowers symbolize sophistication, mystery, sexiness, seduction, decadence, and fascination. Victorians and Edwardians at the cutting edge of fashion used to collect them, going to great lengths to track down exotic species. Today, black flowers are adorned by Art Nouveau designers. Those considered or called black flowers are black beauty roses, queen of night tulips, chocolate cosmos, bat orchids, black hollyhock, and black calla lilies. However, in reality, no black flower exists. The so-called black tulip is actually very dark purple, and the black rose is, in fact, very dark red. There are other less common cut flowers which occasionally occur in black forms. They all ooze decadence, mystery, fascination. And other than dried or dyed, natural black flowers are, as I've said before, probably slim to none. But there are some flowers that come close, giving black flowers a less negative connotation in exchange for a more seductive, elusive one. Choosing just the right flower and the almost right flower can be akin to love and like, Color can influence romantic liaisons, friendships, even the feelings we have during somber times of death. As you have heard and likely experienced for yourself, color brings about emotions and can influence the way we feel. The color we choose for our homes, our clothing, or a bouquet of flowers can reveal our personalities and how we feel at a particular moment in time. The use of color also depends on the season, the moment, and the person. The right mix of flowers in any bouquet can emphasize and enhance emotion, celebrate life's special events, and just make us feel good. So next time you want to express your thoughts, feelings, and emotion, express yourself with flowers from Eden Florist 
at www.edenflorist.com. Thank you.